The Legacy of Wisdom Project gathers and publishes answers to many of humanity's most pressing questions from some of our most experienced and profound leaders. Um, how do we relate with these two forces of stay active, um, inner retreat, and... Uh, well, it's, it's to practice them with a certain measure, and this is what wisdom is. It, it doesn't reject anything, but it recognizes what's now getting difficult and, and reduces the amount of time or energy you put into some things that are less important than others. In other words, you have to adjust your length of day and your sleep and your diet to your bodily condition. Well, if you're attached to overeating or to over drinking or something, well then, that's not easy. But wisdom is is no longer trying to draw happiness from those sources because it's experiencing the inner reassurance of, of of union with God and sharing divine dispositions. So even pain is joy for the wisdom. The, Joy is pain. What's the difference? <laughs> well, it feels different. But there's, a, there's this extraordinary resource that wisdom has, which is the divine presence itself, that, that is assuring us that these uh, sufferings or diminutions of self, as Teilhard de Chardin calls them, are fruitful for whatever God's plan is in, in our time. And, and I think that's a tremendous motivation. For instance, I can't go to Darfur or Africa or all the terrible, uh, unbelievable barbarism of our time. And, and uh, the ultimate barbarism is, seems to me is suicidal murder, you know, that it's becoming a significant part of warfare. It's, it's an enemy that you, over which you have no control, really. No way of dealing with it. It just shake hands and they blow you up without any consideration. For so it seems to me this is a terribly sad and pathetic and disastrous kind of mentality that people are brainwashed into, apparently. It, it, you can't say it's not heroic in a certain sense. But heroism is not the name of the game. It may uh, appear as a side effect. The name of the game is love. And if, if, there's not, if, if our action is not coming from love, it's not coming from God. Uh, it will not produce good results in the long run. But how you deal with that situation is one of the great problems of our time. Well, it would be wonderful to go and do something about it, but if, you, if you're if you now reduced by old age to being more or less aromatically sealed in bed or in your houses, it doesn't mean you're any less powerful. You can be more powerful by being powerless in that there's no attachment to helping others. There's a certain satisfaction in doing so, which is, which is, which is good. But it's, it's, it's not the ultimate surrender, which is uh, surrender to whatever happens.